Okay. Right. So two wraps and two ties. Wrap up, tie down. Meaning that when you wrap the horse, come from the underside of the pole. And the standard wrap is nothing more than just simply wrapping the pole like that. Each dally that you take increases the strength that it would take to pull the rope off. By about four wraps, it's starting to take quite a lot to pull that rope. But a horse could still usually get that to come loose. Only thing with wrapping on a cross pole like so is that the horse can walk the line. Okay, so there are times that you might want to wrap to an upright. In which case, come around your upright pole, just come underneath. Okay, because that's going to cinch this in place. So mm. come underneath your standing line, and you might go once, twice. Again, that horse can pull loose if he needs to, all right? but not as easily. You take a third dally, that starts to get pretty tough to pull. But again, if you were panicking, he'd get himself enough slack to usually will quit panicking. Okay. Now, for the horse that you know is gonna tie fine, here's the tie that I use 99% of the time. It's called a John Wayne's knot or a bank robber's knot. Okay. They come from the old bank robbers. You know, when they come out of the Western, they just jerk their knot free and they take off with their horse. So again, like we talked about, to make a slip knot, never put the end of the rope through. So at the end of the rope hang, now we're going to tie down. So you're going to go down over the pole you're tying to. And here is the horse end of the line that you're attached to here when you're practicing. Here is the standing end of the line. Take the standing end of the line, wrap it around that loop, okay, and under. Uh-huh. And come back in here, tuck it in. The whole knot. Tighten it from the horse end. The horse can't pull that knot any tighter, but it comes right off and you walk away. One more time. Yeah. Over. Mm -hmm. Wrap the loop under and tuck. Okay. And the only thing about this is that not only does it come loose easily for you, but it comes loose easily for your horse. If he pulls on this, he'll walk away. So what you'll do is you'll take this and give it a little twist. Standing line's on top. You tuck that in. Now you have what's called a half hitch on there. Your horse can pull on that all he wants. The knot's not going to come loose. But when you come grab it here, you come grab it there, and you can walk away. Cool. And then the last knot that's really good might be for tying a little bit firmer. This one you are going to take the rope over. Little halo. So you take again the horse end of the line, you lay it up over. Okay, so take the horse's end of the line, lay it up over. Uh huh. Take the standing line, wrap that loop. Okay, come under. Come under the horse line. Come under the horse's line, tuck a loop up in there. Oh, okay. Tighten it from the horse's end of the line. Oh. Now, again, I can do the same little half hitch to secure that. Before I walk away, I can just give it a little tuck in there. But again, when I come grab this line, that whole knot's going to come undone, but I'm still going to be over. Yeah. That's also really good for tethering equipment, tethering.